Hi everyone, welcome to Stunner Share. So today we are going to see the post market analysis of what has happened in Nifty and also maybe um, uh, some other analysis like uh, MCX analysis also if possible. But what I planned is like uh, to do some analysis on MCX also so that uh, we are not sure like whether we will be going to take a trade or not. But at least we will we will be able to understand whether our analysis is working or not. So considering that factor, I decided that okay, let us do some MCX analysis on a weekly basis and see what's happening with the MCX on the weekend. So that's the plan for now. And uh, I've already uploaded two videos. One is on yesterday. Uh, the videos on the Nifty analysis and how can we expect it and all those has been shared. Second is on the sector analysis. Uh, it is up, it is made for public today and you guys can view that and you'll be able to understand what has been discussed in that. Because if Nifty has to perform well, sec Nifty sectors has to perform well. So that is the entire ideology behind it. So watch those videos to understand what has been mentioned and then accordingly we'll be able to understand how the market is going to behave for this week. Now moving on to Nifty analysis. We'll go to daily chart first and then we'll come back to um, other time frames. I'm going to monthly pivots, daily charts. So if you see over here, uh, what I could see is that Nifty is facing some rejection at the R1 zone and then came towards the H3, which is the Camarilla H3. So as I said in the video I posted yesterday, I'm not expecting any close below H3. If at all there is a close below this zone of H3, then the possibility of coming towards CPR is highly there. So my expectation is that uh, to, it might not take some, uh, it might not break below this H3. It can take some support over here. Even if you see from 22,000 to 30, it has fallen good and then shown a bounce. So I'm expecting some bounce activity to happen followed by some green candles tomorrow. So let us see whether we are able to get some uh, good movement for tomorrow on the upper side. And the volumes are also not convincingly great for a selling side. So let us wait and watch on how the candles are going to behave for coming for tomorrow. And then one more thing, we will go to hourly chart and we will go into weekly time, weekly pivots. So as per the weekly pivots, what has happened is like the candles opened at the CPR and closed at the CPR and the candle is staying inside the CPR. So if the candles are staying inside the CPR, that means that day, that day or that week can remain sideways. So this is one category or one analysis as per CPR view. And now one more question will be like, okay, but if it is going to trend what is a possibility? That will be one question. So I would say this high what has formed today and this low what has formed today, these two are the initial balance zone. So if the market has to go upside towards H3 or L3, then it has to first break today's high and today's low. And after breaking today's high and today's low, then will come the major resistance and support that is previous week high and previous week low. So from here, whether the market is going to go here or from here it is going to go here, that's going to have that's going that's will be decided only if these two zones are respected or broken. Only after uh, how the candles are reacting at this zone only, we will be able to finalize a decision on this. And uh, apart from that, uh, what else can be done? Apart from that, I, I could see a good uh, bullish engulfing pattern over here. And if my analysis stays good, and if, if there is no close below this low, then we might at least go till 22,287. So let us see whether we are able to face that zone. But before to that, we might face some resistance at this zone. Why at this zone? Because last week it faced resistance here, faced resistance here, gave a bounce above this particular zone and then came back to here. So this zone is where buyers and sellers are there and they will be fighting it very hard. So we might go till this zone 22,260 to 270. So let us see whether that is going to happen or not. 
our stop loss if someone is going long it will be it should not go below 22,088 so let us see how the market is going to behave you market can behave in a different way we will not be able to uh, we will not be able to capture all the possible movements in the market say for example tomorrow the candle might open gap down breaking this low and then can give a bounce so it, it is called a shakeout it is where the weekends will be kicked out it is where the stop loss hunting will happen so these are all the terminologies used in the market because that is where the fear lies in say for example if someone uh, has taken a trade and they would have kept a stop loss over here but the market opening gap down their stop loss is already hit their fear will come in they might think that it will go here go here go here so it is better to exit the trade and that is where the institutional or higher level people or biggies what they will do is like they will take all your stop losses they will trigger all your orders and then they will bounce back okay so how, there will be a question then how to capture these moments how to ensure that this is not done and all this you have to wait for an opportunity always wait for an opportunity with less risk and high reward setup so that you will be able to make use of it clear those opportunities you can slowly understand and learn but you have to wait for it now let me go to 15 minute time frame and i will go to daily rewards so what has happened today market showed cpr as a bullish higher value relationship bearish golden pivot zone but market opened below the cpr showing that the bias is rejected and what can be expected any pullback towards the cpr can be a selling opportunity but the pullback at all did not happen it went it started here and then it tried to go towards the cpr but then engulfed here okay and what happened after that is that market decided to stay between this range that's the truth market decided to i'm sorry market decided to stay between this range clear it did not break this high though this it, it broke this low it started taking support at yes to and then bouncing back and actually what has happened is like market actually played between yes one and yes two face support at yes two face resistant at yes one and it the entire day it went sideways clear so this is what has happened today and nothing much of activity is performed today but let us see what is going what can be expected for tomorrow so for tomorrow it is a lower value cpr lower value camera showing bearish setup but what can be expected say for example this is a cpr okay i'm not expecting a gap down scenario i'm expecting a either a flat opening scenario or a positive scenario and a close above the cpr and any pullback towards the cpr can be considered as a buying opportunity to go long but if in case if there is a gap down i'm not expecting a gap down scenario but still we, we, it's not that 100 percentage of the time i will be correct okay i can be correct maximum 60 percentage or 70 percentage of the time and i wanted to make use of it okay so here if suppose there is a gap down what can be done and this is l3 and this is s1 which can act as a double pivot zone and from here the market can take support and then can bounce back as well so let us see whether that can happen or not but you have you also need to be very cautious in this particular zone why this particular zone because in this zone only the market started taking support then face resistance then taken support and again taken support so this particular zone will is the place where buyers and sellers are actually fighting so you need to be very cautious how this zone is going to be played out and that is where nearly the cpr is going is also lying so be very cautious with this trade because cpr is very near to the buyers and sellers fighting zone and and that zone can act as a good buying and a selling opportunity wait for any price action based reversals discussed in pivot pivot boss concept and make use of it clear so this is what is all about the nifty analysis which i have shared i hope um, the nifty analysis is helping you if you find the content is good kindly give a like share and subscribe and also please let let your friends and family know that this is how we are analyzing and this is how we are helping the retailers and maybe if you are also willing to listen you can listen to this so that you will also be benefited out of these videos clear so this is what i wanted to share now let us go to few of the mcx analysis 
so i'm going into hourly chart first let's go with gold okay so gold is in a very 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 tight consolidation phase only see it has been consolidating for a longer time okay from here it has been consolidating for a longer time now what can be expected first of all with respect to pivots it is a okay where is the cpr okay cpr is also here okay with respect to pivots it is a higher value cpr higher value camera law so what's expected is that any pull back towards the cpr can be considered as a buying opportunity and there is a bullish golden pivot zone it would be really good if we get a proper reversal setup over here and we can expect a move towards 20000 to 2044 so let us see how the reversal setup is going to form in gold now going for crude oil crude oil on the other go it has it has formed a bearish or a overlapping bearish uh, uh, bearish setup and the candles have also opened below the cpr close below the cpr but right now at a double pivot zone and showing some sort of bounce if this bounce holds good then we can at least face some move towards 77.24 dollars so let us see whether that's happening or not but if it case this low is broken then we can see whether there is a support is going to take at 75.864 if that's happening also that will be a good zone to watch out but if at all this low is not going to get broken if it is going to sustain then we might expect some movement towards 77 dollars so let us see whether that's happening or not and natural gas natural gas it was it was a roller coaster ride from here it actually traveled here i captured this move the members who's over has joined the back testing members they will be aware of it because they are they are part of the telegram channel and uh, I, that this call is not given to them but i posted the screenshot where i have captured this move and after that it has fallen good and now it is again a gap up it is a bearish setup which actually formed in uh, natural gas based on pivots but the candles opened above the cpr and closed above the cpr that showed that the bias is getting rejected so any pullback towards the cpr can be considered as a buying opportunity so let us wait for some price action based reversal seeing at the cpr for that so that we will be able to trigger an entry and that can take a natural gas towards 1.754 dollars as well so let us see how the price action is going to behave at this cpr so the last but not the least copper futures copper has been in a bearish trend and it has it, is, it has been a very very long sideways market only i could see in copper see it's been like from the day it has made a new top here and then a top over here nearly it's like nearly two years it's been consolidating and it's been in a sideways market only it, it i people have lo should have lost interest in this actually counter many are expecting buy side many are expecting sell side blah 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 but anyhow if you see the can the see as per the cpr and uh, pivots it's like higher value cpr bullish bias but the candle open at the cpr and close at the cpr that shows the bias is neutral no either it is going to accept it or reject it but it is going to be a sideways market but as it has closed below the l3 the expectation is that it can come towards l4 s1 so i would expect for some good price action to happen at 3.8180 dollars if that happens and any price action remains good then that can make a move towards 3.85 dollars so let us see how the price is going to behave at this zone clear so this is all the analysis which i have shared and uh, other updates on mcx you will see it on friday or on saturday so that we will be able to make a track of what has been discussed in those videos and whether the pivots are helping it or not so that's it from my side if you feel the content is good kindly give a like share and subscribe please feel free to share your comments or like feedback in the comment section and thanks a lot stay tuned for more videos